All right. Welcome. Good Friday to you. Good Friday sir. to you, sir. It's a little late today, a little about 11.15 on Friday the 7th. Okay. Uh, focus on the safety and well-being of the community, a little update here. Um, we had three very, very full public meetings this week, mm -hmm. two with council and one with the ad hoc uh, committee on, on housing. And I just wanted to thank everyone for participating. It was uh, really, it was, uh, we had well-attended meetings. We had thoughtful comments, uh, got great direction from mm -hmm. the council. Um, so just thank you. Uh, it was uh, very nice to see the amount of people who, who took part in the public process. Um, and I also wanted to thank everyone who donated uh, to the residents of North County who are suffering um, a lot more significantly. Yeah. Uh, my words, uh, and I think you agree. No, I feel the same. I mean, we, we definitely had damage here in the village, but I think that it puts, it puts your life into perspective a little bit when you, when you look at other communities outside yeah, of yourself. I agree. I yeah. agree. And so, yeah, and so you, uh, the community did look outside themselves mostly. And, um, and, and provided a lot of donations. So thank you. We'll continue to receive donations and then, then distribute them through um, the, county, the county who is uh, getting them to the people in our county who mm -hmm. need them. Um, so thank you. And then um, just, just we did, we have gotten just one comment regarding um, insurance as a result of the storms. Um, our insurance carrier is processing claims as they're received and we, the insurance carrier, just like if you're a property owner, you have property, uh, real property insurance, and um, if there's damage, uh, your insurance carrier processes a claim, and so those are happening. And I think you said we've received 72 mm -hmm. uh, uh, tree removal permits in March. We, we received them in March alone. That's right. And our, on, your normal is like between 10 and 12. Yeah, less so. than a dozen uh, on yeah. average so so be like with that's i mean that's a good message you know just be patient you know we 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 are going to take care of everybody yep. um one way or the other there's no guarantee that a tree removal permit's going to get approved but we're going to process it um but even with like the insurance claims and everything you know just a little bit of patience um goes a long way because there's a lot of folks um you know we see that uptick yeah. of, of permit requests and that said, if you, again, if you are concerned about a tree, please um, contact um, myself or Tom Ford or you or, or me, Bob, yeah, anybody, and yep. um, we'll uh, we'll get on the list of trees to evaluate. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you and Max are reviewing uh, applicants next week for City Forester. We're in the final throes of the environmental compli compliance manager um, application process right now, so hopefully we'll get some new personnel here in the next uh, month or so. And then, oh, lastly, uh, another thank you. Thank you to Sebastian McCabe. Uh, Sebastian has been our intrepid IT specialist, technician. Swiss uh, Army knife. Total Swiss Army yeah. knife um, uh, for a while now, and he's leaving city service, our city service. Today's his last day, and, and uh, Sebastian, thank you for everything that, you've, uh, that you do. Always with a smile, always mm -hmm. with a can-do attitude. You set a really prime example for customer service so well done um you're always welcome back here and uh and thank you yep, agreed yeah i'll miss working with sebastian too we we have a, a shared love for audio visual stuff so it's been fun to work on stuff with him nice. um teeing off what you're talking about with the meetings just uh, going a little farther on the housing element update and our ad hoc committee uh great meeting this week lots of good participation like you said the big sort of upshot is there's a website that's been launched and there'll yeah. be a link today in the friday letter there's a dedicated website for this housing element update. And that's really important because the website does several things. It educates, but it also provides a channel for people to participate. Mm -hmm. um, there's really cool features like making your own little sticky notes to send in. They can be anonymous if you want. Yep. Ideas for how we're gonna rise to the challenge of uh, planning for 349 units. So go check it out. We're gonna link it in today's um, Friday letter. So it, it looks really great. Um, great job to the whole team on that one. Yeah, it, look, it does look great. And a great, good attendance last night. A lot of very uh, constructive um, comments. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Uh, another big news, uh, online payments is something that the city hasn't been able to do in the past or just didn't have set up for all the services that we provide in community planning and building. So these are your planning permits, your building permits, your encroachment permits, those tree removal permits that we talked about. Um, everything's been online except for the capability of paying, which, you know, it's, it's less convenient. So uh, starting Monday, we've, we've, we finally set it up. Uh, council approved the, uh, the credit card uh, percentage processing fee of 3.5% on this week. 
Uh, and so that'll start Monday. All of the payments can be taken online, so you don't have to do it during our hours of business. You can pay for your permits you know, any time of day or night in your pajamas if you want you to. You always say that, yeah. Yeah, and again, it's not our fee, it's a credit card company. Yeah, it's just fee. a pass through. It's what it costs us to process right. th those credit card fees. So that's really exciting. We're you know slowly uh, kicking and dragging ourselves into the, the 21st century. Yeah, you know, when you think about it, there's just a handful of businesses uh, remaining in the village that only accept cash. Yeah. And, and maybe it's the processing, the credit card processing fee uh, that, that is an impact. Uh, we cannot um, host that fee on behalf of, uh, uh, of uh, applicants. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we're just passing it through. That's right. Um, other exciting news, Breakfast with the Bunnies back. It's back. Yeah, so it's this, uh, this weekend, um, Devendorf Park, the Host Lions uh, Club, 8.30 to 12, there is no egg hunt, it's not an egg hunt event, right. but there are pancakes and other breakfast delights. So uh, come on out, check it out, it's great to have that back, the bunny will be there. Uh, it's $5 for kids, $10 for adults, and $25 for a family of four. It's a real value, the food's great. Yeah, it is, it's a lot of fun. It's also hosted by the Carmel Co-op Preschool at Carmela School. Great. Yeah, so, and, and then uh, Chief Watkins did arrange for a, uh, there'll be a, a police cruiser, and uh, a fire truck of some kind uh, for kids to climb in and on and around and get stickers and and uh, and hats and the like. So That's thank great. you, thank yeah. you, Chief. You know we're getting into spring and summer, so we're going to start having those community events again, which is you know one of the many things that makes this place so special because yeah. those those community events are just a great place to get out and meet your neighbors and talk about what's going on. So just show up, yeah. yeah. I mean, we go to them. Obviously, you and I go to them yep. with our families, and uh, we encourage all our staff to to attend them as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, am, I have got a cornucopia of things today that are all over the board, but uh, I want to I want to plug the community wildfire protection plan survey that's out there. Um, that's going to be linked in today's Friday letter. Uh, it's we've already got 450 responses, so that's that's, that's great. Um, there's going to be some public workshops coming soon. Yep. No dates yet, but keep your eye out for those. But and those will be and those will be at Sunset in Carpenter Hall. Yep. We're trying to reserve some space now, but yeah, we we again we want. Uh, it's, a, it's another plan um, to receive feedback so we yeah. can draft up something uh, to address uh, wildfire safety in the village. Yeah, and, and someone asked me, you know, what, what is this all about? What are we doing? Well, it's, it's identifying opportunities to reduce that risk for wildfire. Mm -hmm. And the input that we receive from the community through these workshops and the survey is directly going to affect that. And this is a collaboration between the cities of Pacific Grove, Monterey, and our village of City of Carmel-by-the-Sea. Um, coming together with Monterey Fire to, to create our, this yeah, plan. Our fire department, right. Exactly. Our fire department. And all of what we come up with is going to go into our general plan safety element, which is also being opened up and, and worked out right now. So so please come and be involved in that. This is really, really important stuff. And it helps inform. So when we do capital improvement work in the future, we can talk about fuel load reduction and we can talk about education and outreach for private property owners mm -hmm. uh, to be more, more uh, wildfire safe. Yep, exactly. Uh, wildfire, uh, you know, and other building things top of mind. I, I, in that realm, I want to say congratulations to celebrate Jermel Laurie, the city's building official, uh, who was uh, given an award, uh, reward award by the ICC, which is the International Code Council. Um, mm -hmm. So he's the secretary for our regional chapter. Uh, he was awarded uh, a grant to go to the leadership conference in Florida next week. So they paid for his, his travel or paying for his travel, his hotel, food, all that stuff. So they sent him on this trip. And um, the point of that meeting is to talk about things like wildfire, electrification, new green technology, what's going on in the building world, because uh, folks from the professional building regulatory community are all going to be there from around the country. And it's a way for them to collaborate with each other in person. And he's, there's opportunities and, and courses and things. So congratulations, Jamel. It yeah, it's great. Great job. You know, he's, it's one of the, one of the shining examples of a city employee who is uh, risen through the ranks. We've grown our own, and he's yep, yep. you know now representing the city of Carmel by the Sea uh, at, at a national sort of conference. So darn proud. Thank you, yep, thank absolutely. you, Jamel, and congratulations. Yep. And that's what I got. I want to go out on that high positive right. note. Definitely. Well done. Well done. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. And yeah, take, take good, good care. care.